BBN Tonight Signing Day Special, presented by Papa John's. Welcome back to this special edition of BBN Tonight. We continue our signing day coverage with recruiting expert Justin Rowland. It is with Rivals.com. Justin, welcome in. Thanks for having me on. Well, first off, let's talk uh, wide receiver. How about Christian Lewis? And just talk about what a, he seems to me to be a confident wide receiver. Yeah, and why shouldn't he be? He just got his fourth star on Rivals and I think on other networks, and it was really well-deserved. He had two touchdown catches in every single playoff game for Pleasant Grove, Alabama this year, and he, he really prides himself on rising to the occasion against the best competition that he faces. He, he really did that against some of the best defensive backs in the South. They couldn't check him. He made plays down the field. He's that vertical deep threat, long arm, long leg, and that's exactly what this team has been has been missing, and John Summerall did a great job of holding on to him with Ole Miss and Texas A&M uh, very interested. I was going to say, there, there was some late push mm -hmm. from by other schools to try and snag him away. Yeah, there, there were. And if you're recruiting well, that's going to happen. You know, it's kind of the it's the double edged sword. If mm -hmm. you're getting the guys that you need to be getting, then it's going to be it's going to be tense right up until the 11th hour. And Lewis was probably the most important for them to hold on to. Uh, another receiver that you really like, Justin, is out of Georgia, Chauncey Magwood. Uh, Kentucky needs guys who can catch the ball. What do you like about him? Well, Magwood is a blue collar guy. Like there have been some people who have compared him to Lynn, Lynn Bowden a little bit, and that's a that's a high bar. It's a little bit unfair, but he's a do it all guy. He played the Wildcat quarterback position this year out of necessity. He's not going to be a four four guy, but when he gets to that line of scrimmage, man, he really jets and he has great acceleration skills. He's not going to be afraid of contact and and like I said, he's a blue collar guy. Florida State, one of the schools that really liked him, and Summerall also did a, did a good job with him. You know, Randall Cobb wasn't the biggest speedster ever either, but once he got the ball, mm -hmm. he was gone. True. All right, let's talk offensive tackle now. And, uh, you know, obviously Kentucky's going to be starting to think about keeping that big blue wall going. They've got some on campus already, but you've got to think down the line. And one of the ones you like is uh, the tackle David Wallaball from Ohio. Yeah, he, he has the pedigree. His dad, Dave Wallaball, uh, played in the NFL for a long time for the Patriots elsewhere. And, and you know, you love guys that have that football pedigree. He, he's come into his own. He's gained about 30 pounds over the last year. Uh, he, he really put his quarantine time to, to good use. He had some, several other Power 5 offers. And, I mean, I just think he can play tackle. Like, he's got the kick slide. He's he's agile. He's athletic. And with the outside zone that Leon Cohn is going to have them running. I just think he fits in really well. And, and you certainly you just can't go against the bloodlines. Usually those guys that follow their dads have pretty good careers. Uh, North Harden uh, produced two products for Kentucky. We've got Lavelle Wright, who's the first running back from in-state to sign with the Cats in more than a decade. And then defensive back Jordan Lovett, who may be uh, one of the best players on this in this group. Yeah, Lavelle Wright, same thing with Christian Lewis. He stepped up on the biggest stage. You saw it in that season opener against Frederick Douglass, and North Harden needed to march down the field. He was spinning off tackles, and he was running through guys, and he was picking up every yard to get that game-winning field goal into range. Uh, and he did it in another game later on in the season. And then Jordan Lovett, I mean, he's just a prototypical safety. I mean, he had 15 interceptions. It might have led the country as a junior. And then this year, he expanded his game and became really physical safety who tracked the ball. And uh, yeah, I love it would be near the top of my list of, of the best players in the class. And Lavelle Wright, uh, probably a little underrated. He's bigger than people realize, and he's a physical runner. Do you think, um, Justin, that this was kind of, you heard, you know, Coach Merrow talking about it. How, how difficult a year was this based on, you know, pandemic and all that, trying to talk to these recruits in different ways? Yeah, well, I mean, it, it, the good thing is everybody had the same struggle. True. So it wasn't an uneven playing field. I think it helped that they had a lot of local guys that they felt good about because normally one of the good things about getting guys on campus is they're feeling you out, but you're feeling them out. You're, you're saying, who, who is this kid? What makes him tick? How much does he love the game? And, and they didn't get to do that this year. So it's harder to vet the players that were further away. Those kids from Kentucky, those kids from Ohio, because they've been around the program for longer, they knew a little bit more about them. And I think locking up that local core uh, really helped them during a tough year. All right, Justin Rowland with Rivals.com. Thank you so much for your insight, and we look forward to uh, catching up later on with you. Stick around. BBN Tonight rolls on. When you shoot